It's Feedback Gaming! Welcome back to my playthrough of Fascist Italy. We managed to do a landing in Norway and take most of southern Norway. And we've made a, a little amphibious landing as well to the Shetlands. And then we're going to do another amphibious landing to launch into... Directly on the United Kingdom into Scotland. Now, a few things I clicked on in between the videos is I have lost two carriers in this area. And the reason why is the Allies have got so, 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 so much control of this area. They're hitting me with, um, they're hitting me with, uh, with naval bombers. So I can't keep my fleet here for too long. I've had to break away loads of my fleet just because, just because I'm taking too many hits. And I've already lost two carriers. So we had, we had seven carriers and six battleships. And I think so far we've already lost two carriers. So I can't keep this going for too long. So what we're going to do is, without further ado, I'm just going to do an amphibious assault directly on this province so I can get this naval base. How long will it take? Actually, let's kill this order. Do another one here. Amphibious landing here to here. That is going to take only 10 days. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, and then... And then what we'll do is we'll prepare our our forces so these are the two ships we've had to break away because they're damaged okay we need to this be really really quick okay so what we're going to do first of all is grab okay i think we're gonna assign these to a different division Got one, two, three, four here. And we're going to assign these to stop the attack. Position these guys here. Kill their forces. These guys are solely going to hold the front here. Four divisions there. Okay, now that's actually pretty good. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six divisions. Are they going to be enough to hold this? Ooh, that's going to be tricky. Uh, I think we might have to pull off some more forces elsewhere. Okay, I think what we're going to do is pull these mountain divisions off here. There's a few div mountain divisions that we're going to pull off and add to the purple here. Assign to this force here. My only worry is they're going to try and move across here to get sunk. But you know what? I don't actually mind. At this stage, I don't mind losing a few divisions. This is a make or break situation. Because if I can't make this amphibious assault on the United Kingdom, then I pretty much can't push in any other direction anyway. So this is pretty much going to be the end. The end of the playthrough if I can't make this landing. Because cause, cause if I lose too many ships, it's going to take three or four years to get enough ships to make another attack. So this is literally make or break. Let's do this. So Norway has air superiority. Uh, we have lost, we have, our troops have been bombed 117 times. We've lost, uh, we've lost 174 fires, they've lost 204. Ooh, it is getting a bit risky, but it is gonna be passable. Okay. Dropping our forces in here. Whose forces are these? These are a part of this crew. We haven't assigned a general to this yet. Um, we'll go for this guy. Old guard? It doesn't actually matter if he's old guard or not. And this is one of the purple guys assigned to this front. The tank division. Striking my carriers here. Okay, I think what we're going to do is assign air superiority here. And then we can engage the ones trying to do port strikes. Okay. Port strike. 
Okay. Yet again, bombers, naval bombers attacking our fleet again. We're just going to have to take the damage on the chin. Another day and then we'll be able to do an assault. I'm hoping and praying they've not got divisions based in this province. They probably will, but... Four divisions will probably be enough to land our forces there. Yet again, continuing to bomb our port here. It's probably not a safe spot to leave our carriers there. Maintenance crew. Uh, recon team. I sunk one of our convoys, which is one of our divisions. So we're now down to three divisions. Okay, nuclear reactors. Atomic bombs is the next step, but now we've got to make... We've got to make our nuclear reactors, which we will make in North Africa, in Sardinia, in Southeast France, and a little bit in Croatia as well, Cyprus, and also in the Near East as well, Egypt. And we're going to prioritize making those nuclear bombs. Excellent. Okay, we're making our assault now. And they have troops based here. They have two divisions. And they're holding out quite well. <laughs> this is what I thought would happen. Are there any other naval bases we can hear? No, and they lost. They tried and they lost. So where do we land now? Where do we land now? We tried taking this province. Go for this one, why not? End orders. There's only one division of this left, the other ones got sunk. So on the way back they took out the rest of that division, so we've only got one infantry division now. This actually might be work out quite well, because if I'm moving one division and they're not defending the coastline, we might get a, a tiny window of opportunity. Okay, so this one division is going to take two, three days. This might be the best strategy, you know, to land loads of small one divisions in random locations. That might be what might be ideal to do, other than trying to drop, like, a huge chunk of army on one province. It'd certainly be a lot quicker. Large ship is row strength. It's getting hit by naval bombers again. We lost a battleship there, a level 3 battleship, and lost two convoys. Okay, they're at sea now, and they're trying to land. And uh, here... There is one division! The penalty for naval attack is 37%. That is huge! It looks to me like these two areas, even they look like separate, they're actually one province. Okay, what do we do here? The last thing we can try is to try assaulting with our tanks, but I imagine assaulting with tanks is going to get some kind of penalty as well. And they've just been bombed as well by the naval bombers. It looks like to me you can neglect your navy and just like prioritize naval bombers and air superiority and you can do quite well. Because right now every single battle that I've engaged my fleet with the British fleet I've, I've came out on top pretty much every time, but they've got so many fighters, like 2,100 fighters and 600 support planes as well. Another 4,000 there too and 2,700 there. They've got so many. They've not got any base there now. 24 efficiency in that province. Good. Okay, six tank divisions base here. Shall we land our tanks and see how it goes? Why not? This will take 24 days. 21 days. Okay, this is six tank divisions. They lack experience. They're fairly optimal strength. 
This is probably looking like the final opportunity that I'll get of making a landing. This is probably the very last one. Losing our destroyers here. They're absolutely battering our destroyers. It looks to me that our destroyers are actually quite hard to hit because their coast is so small. That's probably the reason if I look at this fleet, yeah, they're predominantly all destroyers. The destroyers are really difficult to hit because they're really small. How long have we got now? We've got another another 11 days. How many divisions do we have here? Four known. One... Doesn't say how many are there, does it? Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we've got how many have we got based here? We've got seventeen, about twenty divisions. We do outnumber them, but they've got the the hills advantage. What are we producing when it comes down to crews? Loads of military divisions, tank crews. I think we're going to cancel those. You know, I don't think I need them. No, I don't need them. Military police, we don't have to worry about that for now. The strategies have changed massively. I don't need to worry about a lot of those. We don't need those anymore. We need significantly less, less tanks. We're producing enough mechanized to keep us going. Jet fighters, we're running quite low on those now as well. Let's up the production on those as well. Lost our light cruiser. We just got the battleships remaining. Okay, we are actually making some gains here. And the problem is this is only one division. 84% reduction in attack. 84% because it's a tank making amphibious assault. We are winning. In fact, we've won. Wow. Okay. I did not expect that. So... Assign everyone to this front. I feel like I want to make a push here. If we can make a push like right here and we can have a two province front in the mountains, that is going to be so good. Okay, what I'm going to do as well is assign those guys here as well. Push here, split in half, push here. We need to make a breakout. If we let them gather up in the north, they'll pin us in. Okay, that is fantastic. Oh, damn. We prefer we like to get down to the... Uh, I prefer to get to these lowland provinces here. Because this is going to be the hardest part to hit because our tanks have got a disadvantage movement and attack in mountains. Oh my goodness, there's no forces here. I can't believe how well this is working. They are hitting some of our convoys so hard. We've sunk four so far. It's not going to matter though because those... If we lose a few convoys, that, that that's pretty cool by my from my perspective, because we're going to gain back anyway, because all the fighters that are hitting us from the UK aren't going to matter if we actually take them by ground. Oh my dear. That province, that province, take Newcastle. Okay, I realise we've actually not set an order where to attack. We should probably just set one, shouldn't we? We'll say, attack London. Is it? Yeah, attack, push, go. Taking out our convoys there. We're taking out a huge amount of convoys. Are we having issues with attrition? Yes. It's probably because we're fighting in mountains. Hold that position. Okay, we've... we've uh, 
We're engaging more forces now. They're moving here. How strong are these divisions? Not that much. Supply issues here. It's probably supply issues because we're having issues delivering convoys. Okay, these divisions have been moving really slow. Move that one around. Push into Glasgow because it's urban, they get a new defense bonus. Go for escort convoys, which we already have. They're the only ships we've got left from holding this territory. And the only reason why we've got this area left. And the only reason why we're holding that one area is because they're destroyers and they're so small. They can't get hit by, uh... They can't get hit by, um... Well, they can't get hit by the naval bombers, but they're just so small, the visibility, they can move, maneuver out of the way pretty quick. Province, he's encircled. How many forces have they got here? Five divisions there, two divisions there. Can we move? No, we have to. I was hoping we could encircle them here, but we can't. Can we push here? This is mountains on this province, so this is going to be tricky. I don't want to get stuck in these three provinces. That's why I want to continue to maintain, maintain my push south. We're winning in the center here. I don't really care if I take quite a lot of casualties. As long as we make a breakthrough and push in, I'll be happy with that. Province here that's empty, let's push into it. Push into another one here. With a tank division here. We might be able to encircle these ones in Edinburgh. I probably think they've got some forces in Newcastle. we take this province here? Okay, probably don't want to push too hard there. United Kingdom excels influence in the Turkish Socialist Republic. Okay. What does that mean? Are they trying to convert them to democracy? They are. Don't know how that benefits them, but we'll go for it. Okay, gonna push in here. Circle around. I am really tempted to land more forces here, but I'm not sure if that's going to benefit me that much. They've definitely got more troops than I originally envisioned. A lot more troops. What do we do here? Oh, wow. They've actually managed to push back into us. Wow, okay. I wonder why that's happened. Wow, I wasn't actually paying attention here, and they've actually managed to push us all the way back to the coast. Okay, who cares? Let's get out of here. Um, let's uh, say... Assign all divisions to this initial push. Let's get these forces out of here. We're going to lose these troops here. 
Because they've not got a naval base to retreat to. It doesn't matter for now. Okay, we're pushing in from there. Eliminate some of these smaller pockets. I think you can actually move from these provinces over. Oh no, that's only you can't do that in uh, Europa Universalis 4. These two provinces were connected, but they're not in this one. Okay, we've got some more divisions moving in. We've lost loads of them at sea, which I thought we would. Yep, six of them gone, one of them gone. We really do need mountain divisions as well. That's what would have been ideal for this attack. Losing here. Can he re reinforce in time? No, he can't. Ooh, that's a concern. We're going to lose these two tank divisions if we're not careful. I think this is turning against us here. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this around. A total of... I think what they've done is they've... I think initially there weren't a lot of forces based in the UK, but now there's loads more. Do we have an air base that we can use? Yes, we do. These level 3 fighters, let's take them all. These ones as well, merge them. Use the fight in Scotland, interception. The air support's probably helping them out massively. Okay, gonna end that assault there. We've only got 12 divisions left now, we've lost most of our tank divisions as well. Yeah, we have. These divisions have got low, really low experience as well. Some massive lessons here. This is the first time I've done like an amphibious assault and I'll be honest with you, it's not actually gone too well. So what's probably happened is they've had loads of forces based abroad and they've put, managed to pull them all back to the UK. And right now, they've got the numbers advantage because they're pushing back into us and they're doing incredibly well. Okay. Do we make a final break to the end, or should we call it here? Well, this is pretty much... I'm going to call it here, guys. This is pretty much going to be the end of my Italian campaign. Um, there's been some significant gains everywhere. There's been significant gains made absolutely everywhere, and some huge things that I've learned. So... I'm going to have to call it quits on this campaign. I literally don't have any more momentum to push any further. If I was to make an Avril Amphibious Assault, one, I would need air superiority because so far we've lost half of our divisions so far to um, naval bombers. The amount of convoys that have been struck uh, by naval bombers is huge. And we could, if we want to, fight this long drawn our air superiority war in the English Channel if we wanted to. But in all fairness, it's probably not going to help us because it's going to take at least a year to stabilize the bombers. I think we have got a quite a unique um, factory advantage over the UK. What's that? How many fa We've got a total of 330 factories. And the UK has... They've got... They've got way more than us. They've got about 270, 280, 290, even 200. So actually, we couldn't win an air severity war just by fighting factories with factories. And we don't have an advantage with radar because we have no radar technology. So I've made like countless mistakes in this campaign. The, the attack in Italy, uh, in Africa, was pretty good though. It took way longer than it should have. Well, a lot, lot longer than it should have. I think one of my issues I, I focus on, just to run by some of the errors that I made. One, not focusing air superiority on fighters. Two, not focusing on radar. Three, kind of ignoring Italy, because I got attacked by Switzerland and France at one bit, and they pushed me really far into northern Italy. That was like a huge, 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 huge mistake. Um, and the truth is, I'm not going to be able to win this fight in, in England because they've got just too many, too many divisions over us. 
and all the attacks that I engaged in, I've just took severe losses. So right now, I have service by requirement. Are they on service by requirement? No, they're on adult serve. So maybe, maybe we could maybe fight it out just man for man for a long time. But we're in 1947 right now. There's, we don't have that tech advantage that we once had. And I think as well, when I was focusing on Africa, I, fo I focused way, 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 way too much on tanks. I don't know why I thought tanks would help me. Because right now, I, I, when I was pushing into, South, uh, into Western Africa, I was focusing massively on, on my African tanks pushing in here when there was just so very little su supply in these areas. There's loads now because I, I built loads of infrastructure. But I just got bogged down in these areas for a very long time. And if you look in my tech as well, I've only started to research logistics company now. And these would have helped me. Huge 10% reduction in supply requirement. Because tanks have a lot of supply to begin with. So they would have helped hugely in those areas. So many mistakes made. Focused too heavily on tanks. Way too much heavily on my navy. And neglected just basic infantry. And neglected uh, just overall quantities of planes. And if I'm going to be taking on the United States in the United Kingdom, I would need to focus more on air superiority, which I cannot help with. Guys, this is pretty much the end of my playthrough as Italy. This war is going to go on forever now. I would have to make more planes. Literally just focus primarily on making planes so I can get air superiority again to make another amphibious assault. If I do to choose to pull my reserve forces and push them towards Britain, I'm going to lose at least half of them so, uh, shipping them in. So, I mean, we could just experiment right now. Let's, let's say all these divisions, assign them to go here. All these divisions here, let's assign them in. Let's just see how many we actually lose. So we have 59 divisions in here. 59 divisions, all of them assigned to this one specific role. We're going to have to set a field marshal now. We'll go for this guy. Actually, this guy is a field marshal, isn't he? No, he's a general. This guy. Fast planner. Let's do it. So we have 81 divisions. How many are we going to lose now to naval bombers? How many are we going to lose? We've lost 81. We're down to 76 now. Sixty-six. Has any of them actually reached their destination yet? I don't think they have. Sixty, fifty-eight. <laughs> We're losing a huge amount of them. I don't think any of them are actually getting by yet. Forty-one convoys sunk by solely by naval bombers as well. So right now the English Channel is so pinned down with planes, 8,000 planes, that that we can't even ship any of them forward. So it is completely a waste of time now. So if I was going to rebuild my navy again, it's going to take at least a year or two. If I was going to rebuild my air force, it's going to take a year or two. But the truth is I'm not going to be able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe the UK, no matter how hard I try, because they've got a factory advantage over me. I'm taking on 2,200 factories in the UK, and I'm also taking on... A total of about 400, 500 factories versus the United States, which they've they've got three times, four times as many factories as me. So I'll never fight toe to toe just making factories. So it's it's a bit of a waste of time. I guess as I guess when you're playing the Axis, either Italy or Germany, you've got to make your advances and your gains early in the war when you've got the advantage. If you don't make them, then it's kind of hard to hold them back. I guess it's trying to recreate history as shows the decline of the axis around 1944 1945 and maybe even 1943 as well guys it's been absolutely fun streaming for you and playing as fascist italy what we might do is after i've played a few other countries i might return to this playthrough and try it all over again and see if we can uh, if we can topple the axis so the allies guys it's been fun streaming for you remember to like comment and subscribe I hope you have a good day, everyone. Peace!